GW and 40K fanboys are like, Fritz, yes. The answer is yes. You haven't even asked the question. I read the title in the vlog. Absolutely. Yes. And I have to say, being a 40K enthusiast myself, but also playing other types of, of games, not only war games, but role-playing games and miniature games, and more and more these days, the lines, you know, they, they get very blurry. They get very blurry. I mean, one of the reasons years ago that I jumped into miniature war gaming was for the visuals. Collect miniatures, push them around, roll some dice, make the little robot noises, things like that. You know, scream for the emperor, do all that type of stuff. Where a few tables over, my friends playing the Avalon Hill games and stuff. They're they're putting around, pushing around pieces of cardboard on a hex map. That's infantry because it has one line. That's armor because it's got two through the box. Three dots on the top means it's elite. And I feel like I'm I'm back in math class. Like I want to play. I want to play with some miniatures. And uh, in exploring that, I also realized that. There are other ways and other systems that that handle the distribution or or handle the building up of your collection um, a little bit easier or a little bit better than Games Workshop and how that works. And uh, this got me wondering, you know, certainly Games Workshop has changed their distribution model. They're doing limited releases. They're doing more releases. And if you miss out, that's it. So playing on FOMO. Now, the truth is if you miss out, you missed out on some of those, can I say sexy plague marines? Like that reference, that, those visuals, like YouTube might, I might get a strike for mentioning that. But those sexy plague marines in the early, when they were first released, it was like, oh, limited edition, get them now or they're out. And then like, you know, they showed up in Blackstone Fortress as, as a pack-in. So some of the models, yes, they, they will recycle but a, a lot of it is, is shifting more and more, and it's being hard to keep up. So this got me into the question, the yes, and, and I'm kind of like thinking yes myself. If there was a subscription service, a GW subscription service, would you do it? Would you do it? Okay, in the context, you know, um, a number of years back when I was collecting comic books, Punisher, Judge Dredd, did X-Men for a little bit, um, Thor. I knew that I could go every Friday, sometimes every other Friday, but, but I knew one of the highlights was I got out of work, I went over to the comic store, and I had my pulls. You know, the, the manager there knew what titles to pull. I would pick them up, and they'd be put aside, and um, it, was, it was really exciting to, to have those and to be able to read those. Games Workshop, what if they did something similar? Now, we have seen numerous times in the past and continuing where they would release through White Dwarf, um, not only the literally the White Dwarf for the year, but occasionally they'd release a sprue of models or they'd release something with it. And it was kind of nice. It was kind of exciting to get that. Well, what if you could go on their site and there was a way to pick your army and they would send you, they would keep track of what they've sent you. It might be randomized, so you don't know. Um, it might be able to change. But what if they could send you half box sets or smaller squads um, to build out your collection? And let's complicate things further, but maybe it's not. Maybe there's like a tier one, tier two, tier three buy-in. Um, that, From that perspective, what if once a month you got a little games workshop delivery of stuff for your army and it was different and now maybe you make it a, a mix matrix of some things only exclusive to the subscription service so this way you know that hey I'm, I'm getting in on something unique and exclusive but also a way to move some of the other models that maybe you wouldn't explore maybe you wouldn't always play but if you knew hey once a month I get 10 or 15 models, you know, that can also keep me motivated painting and building. I wonder how a subscription service would work from that perspective and if Games Workshop would take things in that direction to fulfill out that tier. I, I could see that, again, being very, very interesting. And uh, I know from the perspective, if I was starting a new army, I might be interested in that where I get my core and then it'll slowly build things out and I could switch, I could cancel. It, it might be an interesting aspect. 
what do you guys think of a subscription service? And and certainly the logistics, the tech, I mean, they could you could do that on the web store. You could manage that out. You could push that out very, very easily. Seeing how Games Workshop has been very innovative and very bold with some of their initiatives. So in the comments, is that something that you would buy into if you were a newish player? You know, even if you've been playing for a while, looking back, rewinding back and seeing, do you think that would, as an existing player, tempt you to start a new army rather than going in and buying a whole new army and now staring at what lies before you if you knew, hey, I'm interested in playing uh, Grey Knights. So they'll start off, they'll send me this, it'll move on to this, and over the course of a couple of months, six, seven, eight months, you'll have a nice little battle force, you'll have something to play, and it will be motivating because you don't know what you're getting every month. You're getting new units, you'll paint it, you'll play it. Could be kind of interesting to see. 